Hi my friends, today we model this part called side support that uh, has this drawing. You see both faces here are sloped 7 degrees and 14 degrees. We start by creating this contour then this contour and we'll intersect them. Let's start new standard millimeter IPT start sketch this face or plane rotating with X to the right then we draw lines horizontal sloped keep press the left button go up till we meet the vertical tangent as possible and same vertical if possible go here on the same vertical and apply close you see then we place this point over the center point we also apply horizontal between these two points the angle of uh, 60 the verticals are these points are on the same vertical and now linear dimension this is 65 radius 17.5 and the dimension to the end is 72. We have a fully constrained sketch. Yes. Finish sketch. Extrude. We have here a dimension 41.3. 41.3. Okay. Then we apply the other contour, this one, you see, 25, 14 degrees, 7 degrees, 20, this point is placed at 41.3, yes. Let's create this uh, new sketch. The plane is XY, F7, and we project some lines. This one, and this one, and this one. then we draw lines this is here tab 7 yes the position of the end is on this line and the angle is 7 then the other contour to somewhere here, down, left, and back to the first line. This dimension is 25, this is 20, and the angle is 14.
S, we have a fully constrained sketch. Extrude that contour symmetrical intersect not cut not join not new volume and all the way to the left and the right okay you see Good. Now we apply this counter bore hole with dimensions 27.5, 22, 3.5. But where is this point? This point is the center of this radius, yes, on the sloped face we select this face to get that point you know why this is uh, automatically presented if you use say options or alt f i in sequence you get this uh, important dialog box application options you go to the sketch and you see here auto project edges for sketch creation and edit auto project this is not by default if you install inventor you have to check this if you want to have uh, this contour automatically sometimes is not uh, useful apply close now the hole the hole has this center and it will be perpendicular on this face not this vertical the solution is counterbore, not simple hole, counterbore with dimensions 27.5, 3.5 and 22 through the part okay the other hole is this one at a distance of 19.5 on this face measured on this face oh we apply again sketch we place a point and it will be on the same horizontal with this and the distance is 19.5 from this center 19.5 you see the measurement is sloped as in the drawing sloped finish sketch hole what is the diameter 8 hole not counter bore but simple through the hole diameter 8 okay good what next next is uh, this combination of two holes counter bore again diameter of 15 diameter of 10 and counter bore of 18 we select this face we draw a line 
with a length of 44 it is placed with its center point on the same horizontal with this point yes this uh, distance is 10 oh <laughs> just 10 very good then I rotate this uh, part and I apply hole the seat is counterbore I select these two points and I apply counterbore dimensions 15 18 and 10 okay now let's see what is the volume of this new part physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is identical we keep the previous value because it is the same then the material is uh, still carbon and the view has default lights let me see what is the other you see the comparison between the two nothing different that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye